Hey, Rafa, how are you? Hi, uh, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? What's great? Yeah, what happened? Rafa, what happened today? Give me one minute, teacher, please. Okay, okay, no problem. I'm arriving home right now, teacher. No problem, no problem. I came in a taxi. I'm Hey, a long day at work. Hello, Carla, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, good. You are in the okay. car, huh? Excuse me? You are in the car. Yes. Yeah. Finishing work. Okay. I am tired. I imagine, I imagine. Uh, who's driving? Your husband? Yeah. And does your husband speak English? No. <laughs> ah, that's great. It's good for you, right? When you get mad, you start speaking English. And then <laughs> that's, it. <laughs> that's it. Papa, everything was okay today? What's uh, today? Okay. Let me change my earphones for my headset. Okay, no problem. No problem. Sometimes it will do the doesn't work. 
Yes, it, sounds, it doesn't sound correct. Gabi, how are you? Hi, <laughs> I have my, my microphone. I'm good. Uh, I have a good day today oh. because um, I do have a lot of work. Hi, Rafa. So I had time to to advance a little bit in the platform uh, because um, I always I always like to uh, learn a little bit before the class so I can understand better the class. Hey, that's uh, excellent, Gabby. That's great, great technique. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And how come there wasn't a lot of work today? Um, sorry. Why, why today you didn't have a lot of work? Oh, um, I am in charge of uh, the bills that we deliver to the to the customers, uh, but they, um, the um, operation area, don't didn't say didn't give me the report of the services we 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 make to the customers last month. So I can't start uh, doing the, the billings. So um, today, basically, I just attended the phone, answer some emails, maybe supporting to my bosses, like, oh, scan me that thing or make me a call, a copy of that. But work uh, I mean like a lot of work no I I was super uh, <laughs> available okay okay oh that, well, that was pretty good though yeah but, yeah. I, I, but it's sometimes good. it's a, it's it's kind of boring because I don't have nothing to do and it it give me a little bit of shame <laughs> if they see me like doing nothing but I literally don't have nothing to do. So uh, sometimes I, I say my boss, uh, you know, I don't have nothing to do. You, if you want to support you with something, just let me know. But if not, I will be On seeing Facebook. videos or, or if you see me at, in my phone, it's not because I don't want to work. It's just that I finished my work. And, and, and she's like, Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, it's okay. If I if I want you to do something, I let you know, and, and that's all. Okay. Uh, uh, why not you <laughs> like this? <laughs> yeah, that's but a boss. that's a good boss. But when you have to work, you have to work a lot, right? Yeah. But uh, well, it's it's not a a high paid job. Also, it's like um, they not pay a lot, but it's it's um something <laughs> it, 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 uh, i don't know how to say it but it's okay for this moment then i obviously if i have the chance i will i will change okay okay good good and that happens there's some jobs you know uh, maybe don't pay a lot but eh, they don't bother you and they let you do your job relax and they don't pressure you and it's okay right yeah i have a friend a friend that is pushing me a lot he says like how do you feel about english you're ready to enter to a call center i will refer you and and all the things and it's like um my piece or a little bit of more salary mm -hmm. i prefer peace <laughs> but i always say to him oh I think I'm not ready. Wait, I'll, I'll let you know when I want you to refer me. But maybe two times he refers me without saying to me. And uh -huh. he will call me like, oh, you're Gabriela. You want to apply <laughs> to, the, to the customer service? <laughs> and, that's okay. and I'm like, huh? Uh, yes. And obviously, I didn't study and I, I didn't do <laughs> nothing. Mm -hmm. Once I Gabby. remember they they asked me 
what's your favorite movie? And I got on blank. I didn't know what to say. And do you know what I said? I said, Nemo, I don't even like uh, that <laughs> kind of movies. And I'm like, and, and, and my boyfriend and also my, my brother was right, right in front of me and they start laughing. But loving like crazy, and I and I want to love too because it was a big lie. <laughs> well, exactly. well, it's in and not only in not only for that, but many times in the interviews, people get nervous when they go to a job interview and the people question you. The, you become nervous. It's a little bit. It's normal. It's a little normal for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a part of the language. In Spanish or English, the people always uh, get nervous. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, um, I uh, apply to call centers maybe I don't know more than five times, but they always said like, "Oh, you know, you have to study more." Oh no, I think you're not the right for for the 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 profile we need or something like that so it was I it was like okay I promised myself I never work in a call center it's God telling me okay you you don't have to do that you can do anything else I'll give you a lot of a lot of other things you can do so I, I was like okay uh, I'll try another thing maybe I will start with a with a low with a low paid work but it'll give me the chance to improve some skills and also to learn and and i think in the future i may have a uh, better work and more peaceful work than that even when the uh, when the salary and the money obviously puts you in doubt it's, it's like oh my friend it's it's winning i don't know one well, a Mm -hmm. maybe eight thousand eight hundred dollars and i'm even not the half of that and and you feel a little bit oh i wish i had that salary but maybe it's not your thing i think it's not my thing yeah and and do you have to be honest the call center is it's a difficult job. Uh, it's a difficult job. I did it yes. once, but in it's in Spanish, and and I ran from there, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore because it's very difficult. And I, in my respects for people that were there, they are <laughs> very patient people. Yeah, we, and I was. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the Spanish account is totally different than an uh, English account. The Spanish account are, are hard. They're very hard. Yeah. My friend said me, they are like very racist. Uh, you say just, hello, my name is, I don't know, Alex. How can I help you? And they're like, oh, you're not American, right? Or, oh, you're Latino or something like that. <laughs> uh, For the accent. I, I don't know. I get mad very, very easy. And they, and uh, no, I can support that. It's like, okay, uh, I didn't study five years in the university to support that. So no, I quit. <laughs> no, it's not good for me. Okay, okay. No problems, no problems. It's not for everybody. It, and that's nothing bad. Everybody has different styles and different techniques, right? Things that make them yeah. happy, things that you'd like, things you don't like. It's not a problem. It's good. All right. Well, thanks for uh, catching up and telling us, Gabby. We're going to go ahead and continue our story from yesterday. We're going to be reading a little bit. If we remember, we just want to make sure that we understand the vocabulary and that everything was clear. Okay. So let's take a moment. One more time. I'll share my screen with you in case you forgot. <coughs> this was the reading. Okay. Take a look. Tell me, are there any words that are not clear? Any words you don't know? Yeah. 
R ribbons. 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 Like when you have a present for Christmas, they put a ribbon on top, like a pretty red or yellow or something like this. This is the ribbon. Thank you. You're welcome. I had some um, doubts about gold thread because I, I believe thread uh, is like, like a real one too, but, but thin. In number three, correct? Now we right here, the gold. Yeah, yeah, the, the last, the last word. Mm -hmm. Gold thread, thread, I don't know how to thread. say it. Thread, uh, thread. gold thread. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, the thread is like what they use to make clothes. So when you have a thread, is the the string, the little string that you use to make clothes. Uh, but I don't understand if gold refers to uh, the, material. the material gold or the color. I, it, it, the material. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I search it on um, I Google it and and I it, it gave me the sensation that it wasn't gold really, but just the color gold. But I wasn't sure so. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And it can also be the color, just like purple or yellow or whatever, but uh, usually it's when you put it at the beginning, it's the material. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Teacher, he, that word photo out. I don't know what to say. In which number? Photo out. In which number? Four. Number four. Um, this. Continued for out the night. Right here. Throughout. Throughout. Right here. Yes, yes, yes. No problem. The word is throughout. Throughout. That means in, similar to during the night, from the beginning to the end. This is throughout. Okay. Throughout is in the entire time. That's the idea for throughout. Is that okay? Similar trust space. Mm, similar, maybe. Or uh, the, the, the time. It's, yes, it's for the time, like while. The time, like while. Yes. Um, during uh, many times. Correct, that's the idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words? No, teacher. No? Only one, only one, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Shouting, yeah. number five, shouting. 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 Shouting is a way to say like screaming. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is shouting. Okay, so then all of the other ones are okay. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, With your partners, now you're going to have to answer all of these questions. There are six of them. The idea is here, 
it's, for example, it says them, part one, line two. This means what is the meaning of them in paragraph one? Here's paragraph one and line two. Here is line two, this them. What is the meaning of that them? What is the meaning of there in paragraph two, line four, and like that? So when you look, this pronoun, what is the meaning? Here is the paragraph, and this is the line. So like the story, which paragraph, which number, and then which line. So we're going to answer this with our partners. Okay? Okay. All right. 3.14, if, if you are in the platform or in your cell phone or wherever, it is 3.14. See? Yes. If you need to read again, read again to be clear and check what are they talking about.
Okay, guys, you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Don't worry. Let's take a look. Elsa, number one, yes. them. What are they talking about? Okay, they are talking about the animals. Animals, okay, all right. Gabby, number two, it. What are they talking about? Um, they are talking about Shusak. Okay, good. Number three, Maria, what are they talking about? Okay, it's three, it's talking about a, a Korean families. Korean families, okay. Number four, Javier, what are they talking about? Talking about men. About oh, men, okay. All right. Rafael, number five, what are they talking about? They're talking about New Year's Eve. Okay. And the last one, Anna, what are they talking about? I didn't finish. Ah, okay, no problem, no problem. Henry, can you help her? What uh, they are they are talking about the, the beans. About the beans. Okay. Let's take a look. The beans ritual. Yeah, exactly. Very good guys. Excellent. All those answers are correct. Number one, animals. Number two, Tusak. Number three, the Korean family. Number ten, five, New Year's Eve. And number six, beans. Good job. Very good job. Any questions for any of these? No. No. No, teacher. Okay. All right. Let me ask you, Henry. How how are you? At I didn't. I didn't hear you. How are you in the platform? Are you advancing? Are you having problems with the platform? I had a problem with the next part. With the, with the four or with the exam? Uh, with the, let me see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, you look and then you tell me. Maria, how about you? How are things with the platform? Any problem, any issues? Maria, you are mute? Yes. Yes, yes I, I have a problem with the, the next, no, no next part, the, the other, after, the next. In lesson four. In the yes. midterm, midterm. Oh, in, in the, the midterm, Maria. In the rewriting part. Yes. I, I had a problem with two set, with two, two rewrite sentences. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at let's take a look at that section to make sure it's clear for everybody. We finish unit three today, which means that we have the midterm. The midterm is the exam from unit one, unit two, and unit three. There are many sections. There's circle the words, which you read and select the correct word to complete the sentence. Okay. Yeah. And the same on the bottom. You read and then you select the correct word to complete the sentence. Okay. That's it. That one is only about using the correct preposition, the correct word, gerund, or infinitive. Then we have part two, which is, or part B, which is writing. Henry, this is this you're talking about, the rewriting? Yes, this is the part. Okay. I had problem with the sec. If the second, the second uh, part is okay. the second item, because okay. I don't know how the, the structure. I, I I think that is right, but the platform say that is wrong. Okay, Henry, why don't you share your screen and we can see what did you write and maybe another classmate or. Someone can help you to make sure that it's correct. Okay. Because sometimes it's the spelling that you that you write or something like this. Okay. 
Uh, I'm sharing my my screen. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, it's wrong. Only when I see it, it is not. It's wrong. That's what that is wrong because it's wrong. Uh huh. Um, but I wrote that. I begin with please. There. I was wrong. The please. Where where I. Where I should put the please, the please must be in the middle. Correct. Yeah. Please is in the middle, not at the beginning. Okay, okay. But okay. don't feel bad because I had the same problem. I met hey. it maybe uh, three times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where will you will you please take the correct that okay. that's where you put it. Okay. Let mm -hmm. me try. Okay, and I, I think that is the same problem. I believe it is because please does not go at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. And the three. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go, Henry. Problem solved. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks for the help. Yeah, you see, that's why I say sometimes it's, it's easier to share your screen because sometimes what for you is difficult, the other ah is for the system. Is this, this is the correct way? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Uh, any any difficulties with any part of the platform? Sorry, I have a question. I don't begin the uh, exams. <laughs> uh, no problem. It's because this week, this week is uh, um, the finals or days. The midterm. Uh, the, the, midterm. the midterm. Correct. Yes. Okay. Teacher, how about you? Tell me, tell me, Elsie. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry, who, who was it? Maria. Ah, Maria, sorry, Maria. Okay. Um, in the part of the platform, we have uh, discuss, discussing, but um, I, I didn't feel, I only feel part one and a little part two, but I don't know if we have to feel it. It's good for you to practice your writing and it's it's necessary for you to, to have seen it and done it because it has to be it, it has to be registered that you did. But if you don't complete for that one, you don't lose points because you, you have the points from the from the check, from the self-check. Those are the ones okay. rates. Mm -hmm. Okay. We we have to, to feel it. Yes, those okay. you have to. Yes, and the self-check is, is obligation. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, excuse me, uh, no I have an other question. Of course. But in the discussing, um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know um, if I, I may or I do in a correct for, uh, correctly. I don't, I don't know because the, the platform don't tell me. No, it's not. It's, it's for interact with the other party. Okay. That's why. Yeah, that's why we do in class. So that way, in the moment you ask, and then we check in the in the day if you remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So the days the days they were the writing is we did in the class, and I say, hey, you have to put in there to to see. If you don't put, then later we continue and we don't go back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, let me explain a little bit so that for those that didn't begin the exam, you have an idea. Um, the exam is three parts, or sorry, not three parts. <laughs> the exam is five parts. Uh, the circle of the word that I explained uh, about selecting the word, the rewrite is the one that Henry asked about. It only use this expression and use the information from the sentence to make a new sentence with the two, that is the rewrite. So take the two 
and make a new sentence. That's rewrite, okay? Part C is listening. You, the, my recommendation is don't listen. First, first read all of the sentences. Read the options, okay? Read the sentence, read the options. Read the sentence and read the option. Then you listen, because if you listen, Maybe you get confused because you don't know what information is important or what information you need to listen for. But if you read the question first and the possible is easier to identify in the listening. After you select, you can listen again and check your answers. Okay, this is part C. Part D is like today. Part D, only you read the information and with the information from the reading, that's where you answer the questions. Okay, so you use the information from the reading from here, and then you answer all the questions that they ask you. It's not your opinion, it's the information that is in the reading. And the last part for the midterm is only matching. You use this sentence is the first part of the sentence, and you connect. What do you match it with? How do you make a complete sentence? This is the first part, and what is the second part? And that's it, only four of those. Any questions about the midterm and the activities in the midterm? On the last part of the midterm, I had some troubles because um, in some sentences, the, the second part of the sentence match with, with um, more than one option. So, like what we did last time that you have to read all all of the sentences for for matching in the correct way because the platform don't let you repeat uh, i mean it's like programmed to to just one answer correct. so you may have troubles i had troubles i i made maybe three mistakes <laughs> yes 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 very good tip gabby Yes, it's important to read first and then select because you can only use it one time. And sometimes if you use it, then in, you use it again, it's not correct because it's only one time. So you have to think about the idea of dating and in the traditional dating, what would be the order or how would be the, the steps, first, second, things like that. And that's going to help you. Any other questions? No, okay, all right, let me continue checking. Javier, how are you doing with the platform? Everything is okay? It's okay. Uh, my, my problem is, is I don't begin the midterm. <laughs> no, no, but you have. But, but th this night, I I work. Yes, in my midterm. Do one section today, one section tomorrow. Um, depends. Probably yes. That way, that way you don't feel like ah, I have to do a lot. No, if you only have time to do one, do one. If you have time to do two sections, A and B, do A and B. Maybe you say no, no, no. The listening, I need more time. Okay, do mm -hmm. and D, for example. It's okay. It's, it's not necessary in order. You have to do all of it. Is the important. Okay. Yes, you're right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anna, how are you with the platform? Any questions? Any problems? Uh, Anadima or other? Uh, Anadima. Anadima. Okay, thanks. Well, and the, when I was, uh, I was start uh, the platform, I had a, a lot of problems, but um, the office helped me. And in this moment, I, I don't have Anna, we, we lost the audio or I don't know, it's me. Do you do you guys hear Anna? No. No, Anna, we don't hear you. Anna, we don't hear you. Nothing. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 now yes. Okay. 
Well, um, in first time, first time I have a problem, a lot of problems with my platform because I don't inside. But uh, the office helped me. Um, uh, in this moment, only that's how uh, I start in the section two. Okay, no problem. It's okay because I know you had problems with the platform and maybe for today, tomorrow, Saturday, Friday, Sunday, then you advance and then you can I, pro I promise teacher, uh, uh, actualize, uh, actualize. Okay. No problem, but, yes, up to date. Okay, teacher, thanks. Only no that. problem, Anna. thank you. Elsie, okay. questions, any problems with the platform? Today, uh, I, I started to the, the mid, midterm. Okay, Good. excellent, excellent progress. All right, Rafael, how about you? Any questions, any problems? No, oh, teacher, everything is okay, no problem. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Uh, Ivania? No problem in the plat platform. Okay, you are advancing, Ivania? It's no problem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. And Gabby already said that she is advancing with some, uh, I sometimes have to repeat, but it's good. That's how we learn. Mm hmm and Ana Pineda? No, I'm fine too. I don't hey, have excellent. I love it, guys. I love how everybody's working. And remember, it's not necessary to go like Speedy Gonzalez or like Flash. <laughs> Only is necessary little by little. Little by little is easier. And then you remember more. Okay? Okay. Great. All right. Well, in that case, now that everybody has the idea and the instructions for the platform, we can begin the new topic. Okay. All right, here we have our topic. Here we are starting to look at mixed tenses. The mixed tenses are, ah, we have past, present, and future tenses. Before we begin, let's review the present. How do we use the present, the verb? There are two ways to use the verb in the present. Do you remember? Yes. Anna Pina, Anna Dimas, sorry. Anna Dimas, uh, it's in present. The verb, uh, I add uh, is in the present. Okay. <clears throat> and in the past, I, I, I use uh, the verb was or depend. Was when it's uh, she, he, it. The word when this are uh, you, we, they. Okay. Don't change the verb. Good. Uh, future and uh, future, I uh, use, uh, I add a uh, will. Okay. Don't uh, change the verb. Okay. Remember that the future, we have actually two forms, right? We have will. Will are uh, going to. Yes. Do you remember the difference between will and going to? Yes. What is the difference? Will is when you don't, we, you are not sure of your activity, and going is when you know that you will do it. Exactly, that is the main idea. Will you are not sure, okay? And then going to is that you plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the important part. Good. And what about in the first tense? How can we describe in the past tense? There are, we have three pronunciations, right? For the verb, for the regular verbs in the past tense. The past tense is my difficult, difficult conclusion because the irregular verbs uh, write in different ways. This, Mm -hmm. Yes, in the regular verbs, uh, Ana Dimas say, uh, said, said, <laughs> that, uh, said, um, uh, used the was or were. But in irregular verbs, it's different uh, pronunciation or con conjugate. 
I don't know. <laughs> Conjugate, <laughs> yes. Conjugation, yes. Okay. Good. So yes, it's correct. Today we're going to help us try to remember all of those rules and apply them. This is the most difficult part usually, and this is what we need to study more, right? So first we're going to see a small conversation where we use the different tenses. This is the neighborhood has changed. Do you remember what is neighborhood? The people be behind my home. Yeah, it's the area around your home. Around your home the and the area around it. So yes. maybe you have a neighborhood like, uh, I don't know, in, in Lourdes, they have a Nuevo Lourdes, or Villa, or Jacarandas, or Santa Tecla, or Santa Elena, the different areas. Those are the neighborhoods. Okay. So let's listen and read the conversation. Here it's a little small, so I put in the chat if you want to see it bigger, okay? Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else is... Okay. So before we continue, what we're going to do is we're going to practice the conversation with our partners. Like I said, it's in the WhatsApp or it's in 4.1. I think that if you are in the computer, it's easy to only to Zoom. And if not, in the WhatsApp, you have to make it bigger because I don't know why, but this, this part, they made it very small, the letters, okay? So 4.1, you and your partner are going to practice. One is going to be Tanya, one is going to be Matt. And then you are going to change the roles of Tanya and Matt. It's okay? Okay. It's okay. All right. Only a few minutes to make sure that it's okay.
Okay, guys. Were there any words or any parts that weren't clear? How do you pronounce tearing them? Algo así. Tearing down our high school. Tearing. Tearing. Mm -hmm. This is the idea, tearing down. Any other words? The other words are okay? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now let's listen to what is the second part. What happens in the second part of the conversation? changed in their neighborhood. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Mm, very fast. Let's see one more time. What did they say? They drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so let's take a look. What else do they talk about? What else do they mention? Uh, the bookstore that uh, changed and now is a pizzeria. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now it's a pizzeria. And what do they decide to do? Going to the pizzeria. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about you and your neighborhood. Think about where you live in the area around you. It's similar to them, what has changed in your neighborhood? What is being developed or what is different that you remember? I think uh, in the past, the people uh, uh, bought the, everything in the little groceries or tents. And now uh, many people uh, buy in the supermarket. The supermarket uh, is near, uh, is near in my home and the little tents uh, uh, exist too, but uh, I, I want a bread or I want a meal. I, 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 I run to the supermarket. <laughs> yes, it uh, hasn't changed in my neighborhood. Okay, so now in the neighborhood, not so many little stores, the family stores that they say. Okay. Anybody else? What else is different in your neighborhood? Teacher. Yes, that's Anna Dimas. In my, uh, around here uh, is the, when I was child, uh, around in my home, uh, a lot of forest. Okay. Now only that's house, house, house. <laughs> no more forest. Forest. Yes. Okay. All right. So the other is the physical, right? Yeah. Yes, and the physical. 
Okay. In my neighborhood, um, a few years ago, we have uh, we had more uh, uh, parks, and in now we have more malls. Yes. Have you noticed? I don't know in your neighborhood, but in my neighborhood, before we had houses, and now we have many apartments, many apartment buildings. Yeah, and they are very expensive. Very expensive. They yeah, are like house. Yes, like a house, but it, but it's an apartment. But is some of, some of the apartments are more expensive than the house. Yes. Yes. Do you think this is good or bad to live in an apartment? Depends. Is is a house more expensive in a in a good area? For example, in San Salvador mm -hmm. or Tecla, is the apartment is cheaper than a, than a house? Is better the, the apartment? Or if you only need a small place to, to live? If you only need the, the, if you only need the the place to to sleep, if you are a student. Ah uh, yes, yes. Near La Tecnológica, there is an apartment building only for students. Only for class. Yes, and the apartment include everything: internet, electricity, uh, everything. You you pay, but it has everything for for students. Maybe not so cheap, but not so expensive. Is one I think one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Oh, but I, think, oh, I think it's okay. It's, it's not a house, but for with internet, with the bathroom, with shower, with electricity. Is is so so I think. Mm -hmm. for, for single person, I think is is better uh, an apartment. But when it's a big family, uh, it's better a house because you have you you can use um, the rest of, of the house uh, for, the, for building a, a second floor, no? Uh, yes, a second floor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But, but in apartment is only a, a cube, like a, a cube. Yeah, like an office, right? Only a cube. <laughs> a cube. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because most apartments that are very big are very, very expensive. You, yeah. you know, like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars is. Wow. <laughs> wow. And it's very so uncomfortable far. for parking. No, because mm -hmm. uh, the apartment ha has um one parking i think no yes usually one sometimes two but not so common yeah okay good well this is the idea hang on let me show you the, one more time so this is the idea that we're going to continue on and we we have it's the idea is to be able to describe and contrast between the past, the present, and the future. That's when we're talking about the changes in the neighborhood. For example, before in my neighborhood, there used to be a, a, a lot of small stores, or now uh, apartments are growing or apartments are being built, okay? Now, now that we know the past and the present, what do you think is going to happen in the future in your neighborhood? What do you imagine is going to be more malls, more families, less families, what more schools, what do you imagine is going to happen in your neighborhood? Maybe um, it will be more, we will have more, um, how do you say, bypass? Ah, okay, for the vehicle. Yeah, because I, 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 I listen the the news, um, the mob, will build uh, a lot of bypass in Integración, San Ramón, uh, Constitución, etc. So wow, wow, wow. We have yes. more bypass. Okay, okay. Well, this is what I want you to think of 
that way this is going to be our topic tomorrow the past of the neighborhood the present of the neighborhood and how we imagine in the future of the neighborhood okay remember to continue working on the platform continue advancing unit two unit three make sure you work on the midterm little by little but every day continue every day continue okay okay thank you guys okay, teacher. Good night. thank you so much for coming Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye, Good night, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.